Management have said it's had to rethink its strategy and recently have had to abandon the original premise of the project and offer accommodation out to people who don't have dementia. Peter and Susan Eglinton have been in one of the bungalows for eight months. Susan has mental health problems and suffers from reoccurring stress-related seizures. I do get confused and um, I can't walk without support. Um, the bungalow we had before was too big for us. It was too big for me to manage. The garden was too big for Pete. So this is nice and compact. We've got a nice little patio which we can manage between the two of us. But it's security and it meets my health needs too. But to know that if you are in trouble that the staff there that can cope with it is very reassuring for us. Maria McManus is an independent dementia care consultant and former director of Northern Ireland's Dementia Development Centre. She says the Nangar development raises important questions about the viability of this model in rural areas. Maybe the dynamics are different in urban areas where you have a higher density population. Um, you have perhaps more people uh, living on their own, um, those kind of things. Where property and land in particular has maybe been... In, in families for generations and the prospect of parting with that is is unimaginable to them. But for one I am heartened by the fact that you know organisations have still gone ahead and done progressive things, created alternatives to ensure that um, older people with these kind of conditions can have a chance at um, a better quality of life. Mm.